the TGV in France is one of the fastest trains in the world. Put into service between 1981 and 1983, Paris-Lyon was the first high-speed rail link. On this 420 kilometers long track section, trains travel at speeds of up to 300 kilometers an hour. The traveling time from Paris to Lyon is less than two hours. When the line was opened, a massive increase in passenger numbers was expected. In reality, these expectations were exceeded. Used to build this line, Plasa and Toira machines have set quality standards. Since then, 30 years have passed, and it's hard to imagine France without high-speed train traffic. The track structure is subjected to excessive stresses. Today, up to 13 trains travel on the line per hour and direction. On average, one train every four and a half minutes. Having been in operation for more than 30 years, the ballast bed is fouled and must be cleaned to ensure a stable track geometry. But how to rehabilitate a complete line busily traveled every day? The answer is simple, during the night. There is only a short time window left between 11 o'clock in the evening and five o'clock in the morning. The staff of SNCF ensure the safety on the line. As soon as clearance has been given by the Paris headquarters, works can be started. That's when the team of Colas Rail and ETF join them. They are responsible for carrying out the works. Experienced teams are crucial to produce the output expected in the short time window. The team removes the rail fastenings and displaces some of the sleepers. At the start of work, the focus is placed on one important preparatory measure, excavating the cutter bar hole. This hole is excavated down to the formation protective layer. Now the excavating chain can be inserted. First, the chain cutter bar is placed in the prepared hole. Now the construction train with the ballast cleaning machine travels to the start of the worksite. All ballast movements are integrated in this 300 meter long train consist. The excavating chain is positioned below the track and connected to the prepared cutter bar. The excavating chain of the RM900 HD100 is inserted without infringements of the clearance gauge. The adjacent track remains open for traffic. And then, the sleepers are placed in their original position and fastened. Now the RM900 HD100 is fully prepared for the start of work. This is how the rehabilitation works are started every night. The integrated water spray system prevents excessive dust formation. Additionally, the work cabin protects the operator from dust and noise. The entire excavated ballast is transported to the screening unit. In 2009, the renewal of the ballast bed was started on the first French high-speed line LGV, Paris Sud Est, which was put into service in 1981. The renewal is based on a contract that was originally scheduled for six years. This contract regulated the scheduled renewal of the ballast bed on the line after 30 to 35 years of operation. In the beginning, we had renewal sections of 30 to 40 kilometers per year in a contractual collaboration with ETF. Back then, we operated the first ballast cleaning machine of the RM900 series in France. This animation shows the work sequences during ballast cleaning in detail. In a first step, the entire ballast is excavated and transported to the screening unit.
The integrated double screening unit separates reusable from unusable ballast material. This includes fine particles and oversized stones. This material is passed to the front of the machine and loaded onto material conveyor and hopper units. The cleaned high quality ballast is returned to the construction gap. The cleaned ballast is returned to the track directly behind the excavating chain. As a result, the track can immediately be placed on the cleaned ballast. If required, new ballast can be supplied from the rear end of the machine during this stage of work. The machine system of the RM900 HD100 also incorporates the first stabilization cycle. Here, a dynamic stabilizing unit homogenizes the first layer of ballast. Additional control measurements confirm the accuracy of the machine. We are able to return about 70% of the ballast to the track thanks to the quality of the screening unit of the RM900 HD100. The ballast cleaning quality is used optimally. The first tamping cycle is performed immediately behind the ballast cleaning machine. The track grid is raised by 30 millimeters and tapped. This secures the track in its position. A measuring gang records the achieved track geometry for the next stages of work. As unusable material is removed during ballast cleaning, ballast must be added. A ballast train unloads the new ballast required for the next tamping cycle. The coordination of the individual stages of work is crucial to make optimum use of track possessions. In one pass, the track grid is lifted by 80 millimeters. The 1093X Dynamic Tamping Express produces a stable sleeper bed. A dynamic track stabilizer for the homogenization of the ballast bed is also integrated in this machine. Directly behind, the work units of the RGT352B ballast profiling machine plow and sweep the ballast bed and create a standard profile. For this night, works are completed. During the day, trains can travel at 120 kilometers an hour on the tracks under repair. Even though the machines are not in operation during the day, the time can be used efficiently. Expert servicing and maintenance ensure the operation during the night. Following the nighttime operations, we service the machines every day. Special attention during maintenance is given to the excavating chain and the conveyor units. Thanks to our spare parts store and our staff, the efficiency of the machines is 99.5%. Ballast bed cleaning on 700 to 800 meters per night shift causes early wear, for instance, on the fingers of the excavating chain due to the hardness of the ballast stones. To ensure optimum efficiency, it's necessary to intervene every other day. This also applies to the plates that are worn very quickly due to abrasion. Here it is necessary to intervene systematically and exchange plates every day. And there are the bearings, namely the rollers for the chain guide. They must be lubricated every day to protect the excavating chain from early wear. When we maintain the machine during the day, we pay special attention to the chain fingers and wear plates. They are crucial for the machine's efficiency. During the second night, the track is lifted to its final position and consolidated. Then the track is ballasted again. Now the team of Collis Rail tamps the track again using the 1093X Dynamic Tamping Express. Again, the lifting values are around 80 millimeters. A 
mechanized maintenance train consists of a tamping machine, a dynamic track stabilizer, and a ballast regulating machine. The machines used combine the measures of the three stages of work. After ballast bed profiling, this stage of work is not yet entirely completed. The track geometry must be measured and compared to the desired target data. In a final tamping cycle, small adjustments are made and the track geometry is secured. Now the rehabilitation measure is completed and the rehabilitated track body is ready for safe high-speed operation. The experiences SNCF made with a combined ballast renewal and sleeper exchange worksite show that the track geometry can be renewed within one year. This is an extraordinary track geometry.